Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Aquarius sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. So we have the Page of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Star, Major Arcana. So the Page of Swords, we see this page here standing, looking directly at someone or perhaps in some direction, has his sword ready in his hand. When we think of swords, we think of challenges, we think may think of obstacles. We also think about our thoughts, our thinking in general, our reasoning, our logic, our ways of figuring things out to make it work in our life. So this young page who is youthful and who is uh, learning a lot about life, very smart, has a strong wit, is looking to gain experience in using his intelligence in order to communicate, in order to um, understand challenging times, challenging issues, things that are not easy. So we always get a sense that there's this sense of waiting, of having to be ready for what's coming your way. And so how the energy of this page of swords would approach a problem, a setback, or just some type of dynamic in a relationship is that he's going to look for truth. He's going to look to communicate clearly based on, based on the facts, based on what he knows. Again, I think when we see the page of swords, it's a sense of being ready to think you're ready for yourself to think things through, to use your own smarts as you are entering in a situation, as you are existing within a situation, whether it's a family matter, a relationship matter, a work matter. We all have these little scenarios that kind of take grip. And so we have to think logically, how are we going to handle this? And so the page, instead of the emotional component, he's looking at the data. He's looking at the evidence as he moves along. So helpful energy. My feeling is that there's a sense of having to be mindful, to pay attention and to watch what's going on and to be ready to, to use your smarts and your intelligence to handle it. So then we have the glorious Ace of Cups. It's a beautiful card. It's a beautiful thought. Everything about the Ace of Cups is so wonderful to see. These gifts are blessings from the universe where the universe is saying, here's an opportunity for you, for emotional happiness, for delight, for love in your life. It doesn't always have to be romantic love. It can be the love of a dear friend, a business partner, your family members, but it is telling you that your relationships are going to be good. Your health and your happiness is going to be wonderful. And what the, what the Ace of Cups would tell you is to be honest in your relationships, be authentic in your relationships, be real. And this is how you build intimacy. This is how you build a greater connection. Because the Ace of Cups, it's about connecting. It's about not shutting down your emotions, not keeping them inside, but to say, you know, what's in your heart. I would also say with the Ace of Cups of sharing your emotions is that sometimes uh, if things are not quite right, that you share them in a sympathetic or empathetic way. Again, it's the honesty of the conversation when you are able to honestly tell someone what's going on with you and then they're sharing their part. That's the depth and the beauty of a successful and emotionally rewarding relationship. So the Ace of Cups, good health, the promise or the potential of delight in your life, 
for those that are single and looking to meet someone. This is a lovely card to have because it suggests that maybe you meet somebody, maybe there's an opportunity. Again, you have to put yourself in a place of opportunity. You have to meet people, you have to socialize, or you have to find another way to do it, if it's online or not. But an opportunity here to meet someone, to have a lovely, uh, rewarding and delightful uh, experience. The other small part I would say that we always need to think about with the Ace of Cups is in addition to the enhancing or the building of your relationships, expressing your emotions, caring for someone is the love for yourself, is that you have to take um, care to have self-love. So um, honoring your own intentions, um, believing in yourself, having faith. And so I think it's a beautiful card to have next to the star because the star is a card of healing. It's a card of allowing your emotional and your physical state to get better, to be in a more healing place, to, uh, to be in sync again. So how do we do that? Well, we, we might need time to rest. We may need time to reflect. We may need time to meditate. And for some, you may need time to circulate, to be out, to meet people, that that might restore your spirit. That may help to help self-love. So with the star, the overriding idea with the star for everyone is that the heavens and the stars above guide us along and we look to the stars for inspiration and we look to the stars for romantic feelings. And we simply look in awe of the stars because they're beautiful. And the star's energy is beautiful because it's the idea to you is that no matter if times are challenging or you have a setback or you have a tower moment, the star would tell you to don't lose faith, have optimism about your future, believe in your future, let the universe direct you, receive the messages, listen carefully, do your part of self-work. And the universe sends these little signals down. And so it's picking up, as I always say, picking up the breadcrumbs, following the breadcrumbs. Where does it lead you? And with that mindset of just thinking that everything is going to be okay, that brings peace. It can bring peace. So it's really such a beautiful and simple message of having faith that the universe, that God, that divine source is leading you. And it's up to you to take care of your vessel, your head and your heart and your soul. And that delight and joy can be yours. You know, when we express our emotions, when we are real, when we are invested in others and in these relationships, and then when we are using our smarts too, to um, think about and to handle any situations that arise, that are challenges, that are obstacles, that are out of our typical, um, you know, daily existence. That sometimes these things come in and you're like, "Whoa, I gotta, I gotta deal with that." So you sit down and you think about it. So let's take a look at what we have for the numbers for the day. We have 17, 18, 19. 19 reduces to 10, and 10 reduces to 1, and 1 is about a new beginning, possibly. Being inspired, absolutely. Leadership and being an original, so be yourself. And then finally, let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. And this says, give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. 
It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really does need it today or someone really needs it today. So listening, being aware, reaching out. It could be a comforting email. It could be a text message to say, I support you. It could be dropping off food for someone who needs it. So many ways to stop, to reset, and to give. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.